There are more cars on the road than ever, and drivers are hanging onto their cars even longer. That means skilled auto repair technicians like Michael Gerhardt are in demand. Some 46,000 will be needed in the next few years. Gerhardt has been on the job for decades, constantly working to stay on top of advances in technology. It definitely doesn't get boring. It's always changing, and, and as long as you can keep up with, just keep up with the tech, you know, technology that's out there and that, that you're given a chance to use, it can be a very rewarding career. Icon Automotive, with brands like Pep Boys and Amco, is leading the charge to fill the skills gap, partnering with trade schools and offering apprenticeships at a time when blue-collar workers are in low supply. But executives say this isn't the blue-collar work of days past. I think there's a stigma around the type of work, and it's still this old get your hands dirty, greasy job. Today's shop is really more of a, you know, a house of technology where, you know, we really think that, you know, students today should be thinking about that role as really a STEM career. Median pay for these technicians is around $40,000 a year, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. But those who are highly skilled and trained and have a lot of experience can work their way up to six-figure salaries. So yet another blue-collar trade, guys, that pays more than one might expect. Back over to you. That's great news. And Kate, how long would it take for someone to just go from, from doing something totally different or, or whatever into getting a job like this? A lot of those trade schools and certifications are between one and two years. The technician that we uh, interviewed for that piece you just saw has been doing this for 27 years, and he's at the master level. So obviously, you can get that trade school degree. You do have to get recertified in certain things every few years, and you can work your way right on up the ladder, Kelly.